I'd like you to close your eyes this morning while you lift your hands to heaven. Lift your hands to heaven. Memuna no no long Ibiara Zapota Weme Kam Guzoro Never de no Never de no Ibosiri Wave your hands unto him this morning. Never Jesus. your hands to heaven like those who are expecting from God this morning Lift your hands to heaven. Lift your hands to heaven. This month is a special month, people of God. Every month has a prophetic agenda. Every month have a divine agenda. And I tell you, this month will never pass you by in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want you to pray this prayer after me. Say, oh Lord, my Father. You that remembered Mordecai. Remember me this month of September. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Fire prayer. Fire prayer. Fire prayer. You, oh God, that remembered Mordecai. Remember me this month. 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 In Jesus mighty name we pray. I want you to pray this prayer with all your hearts. I tell you every month has its own gate. And if the gate refuses to open for you, nothing for you. You are going to lift up your two hands and you are going to cry unto God. Say, you gate of September. I cannot hear you. Lift up your hands in the name of Jesus Christ. And open for me. Open your mouth and fire prayer, fire prayer. Fire prayer, fire prayer, fire prayer. 
you gate of September. I prophesy to you. Lift up your heads and open up unto me. Open up unto me. Open up. Open. 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 In Jesus mighty name we pray. In Jesus mighty name we pray. I want to say after me, in the list of those to be prospered this month, my name shall be there. Open your mouth and pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Liba kasaya halaya. Lende kalaba kolia kasutoria. Among those that will prosper this month, my father, let my name be there. 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 In Jesus mighty name we pray. And so Father we thank you this morning. Because before we came here you are already here with us. Father we thank you because everyone here we go with special packages in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we ask as we go into your words, open the windows of heaven. Open the floodgate of heaven. And pour us mighty, mighty blessings in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Open the door of the prophetic in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let there be no hindrances whatsoever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I come against every power, every kingdom, every spirit, every altar, every foul spirit that will come to militate against the word of God. I pull you down in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Let this word be a timely word that will move us from our minimum into our maximum in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let your word become a creative miracle as it's coming forth. Let it be taking place. Give power to your word as your word is coming forth. Let there be creative miracles in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. In Jesus excellent name we pray put your hands together for Jesus God bless you you may be seated hallelujah I have a good news for somebody here this morning I have a good news for somebody here this morning you came here 10 percent some people came here 20% but I have a word from God this morning that by the time you are living here you are living here 100% in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I say you are living here 100% in the mighty name of Jesus Christ uh, uh, no, 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 you didn't get that you didn't get that praise the Lord I said I come tonight this morning, I come this morning to fast forward your day of delay I said after this service your delay is turning into dancing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ there are some people, some people have been complaining you have been complaining for a long time. Now complain. The Lord said I should tell you this morning that your complaint, your complaint is turning into a testimony in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Kaliba Hasalia. I hear the name Akari in the realm of the spirits. When I was praying, I saw A-K-A-R-I, Akari, and I asked God, what's the meaning of this? What, what are you trying to do? He said, I should prophesy. Anyone living in Iriakari area, he said, this month of September, I will remember you in the name of Jesus. I said, I will remember you in the name of Jesus. He said, there's an angel he's releasing to that area. 
he will get begin begin to get ready for news from Iriakare. I prophesy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. For you, it shall be a good news. For you, it shall be a good news. For you, it shall be a good news. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is a young lady here. You are getting married to a Yoruba person. And they are warning you not to go. I have come to double the warning from God for you. That you should not go to that marriage. You are, get, you are dating a Yoruba person right now. Right now. And you want to conclude issues about marriage. The Lord said I should warn you sincerely. Warn you sincerely. Don't enter that marriage. And I pray as you obey God this morning. I don't know who I'm talking to. But I know you are here. As you obey God, you shall receive deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There is somebody you are here. You're a woman. You wrote an exam last month. And when the result came out, you failed. And you cried. You cried. You said, I am turning that tears into laughter for you. I am turning that tears into laughter for you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. People of God, we are in the month of September. And our September is always a time to be remembered. God will remember you and I this month in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I say God will remember you and I this month in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The number nine is very significant. The number nine is a number of safe delivery. Is a number of fruitfulness. The number nine is a number of a harvest. The number nine is a number of Betting. The number now is a number of bringing forth. Hallelujah. At every ninth month, every pregnant woman is expected to deliver. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Something happened two weeks ago, two Sundays ago. A brother in this church met me while I was coming back into the church. And he said, the Reverend, I want to see you. I said, what is the matter? He said, my wife is pregnant and she's due to be delivered. But the delivery date has passed. Right now, my wife is, is crying, no labor, no contractions. I said, are you mobile? He said, no. He said, okay, I will drive. We will go to your house today. Last two Sundays, she must deliver. Hallelujah. And we drove to his house after the service. I was so tired, but I tried to go with him. We drove to his house and we prayed. I touched her forehead. She shouted. She screamed, My words, my words, my words. I said, The Bible says, The Bible said that the nail that is fasting in the short place shall be uprooted. Every power that have caged your pregnancy, I destroy and neutralize them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Not quite two hours later, I was at Suleri. He called. He said, we're now in the hospital. We're now in the hospital. Contraction has started. She wants to deliver. I said, go ahead. The Lord will make her deliver between today and tomorrow. People of God, the next day, she gave birth to a bouncing baby boy. Every one of us here that have been carrying a delayed pregnancy from January till now, you have been pregnant, pregnant of ideas, pregnant of one project or the other, pregnant of a miracle, pregnant of a testimony. This month of September, you shall deliver, you shall deliver, you shall deliver it, you will deliver, you shall deliver, you shall deliver. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. At the end of every ninth month, every pregnant woman is expected to deliver. You say, Reverend, you are talking to those who are pregnant. Me, I'm looking for my own pregnancy. Amen. It is the month to be remembered. 
it is the months to be remembered. I say it is the months to be remembered. Because your file shall open this month. I say your file shall open this month. I say your file shall open this month. I say your file shall open this month. It shall open this month. It shall open this month. It shall open this month. In the name of Jesus Christ. To be remembered means to recall something that has been forgotten. To recall it back. Because when you're talking about remembrance, it means that something has been forgotten. To be remembered means to become aware of something that has been long forgotten. Long forgotten. You just become aware of it. Heaven will become aware of your case this month in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. One thing I want to beg you is this. Just say amen. Just key into it. Amen. Hallelujah. Just say amen. Forget about who is talking. It is not in my head of me. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. And I'm not here by my power. I am here by the great authority of our vicar and the bishop. Hallelujah. And so I prophesy to somebody here today. Heaven shall remember you this month in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Follow me to the book of Esther very quickly. Esther, very quickly. Esther, I read chapter 5, verse 14. Esther chapter 5, verse 14. And then I will go into chapter 16. Esther chapter 5, verse 14. Then said Zeresh, his wife, and all his friends unto him, Let a gallows, or let gallows, be made of 50 cubits high. And Tomorrow, speak thou unto king, unto the king, that Mordecai may be hanged thereon. Then go thou in merrily with the king unto the banquet, and the thing please her man, and he caused the gallows to be made. Chapter six, from verse one. On that night, somebody said that night. Someone said that same night. Could not the king sleep? And he commanded to bring the book of records of the chronicles. And they were read before the king. And it was found written that Mordecai had told of Bigatanel and Teresh, two of the king's chamberlains, the keeper of the door, who sought to lay hand on King Ahasuerus. And the king said, What honor and dignity has been done to Mordecai for this? Then said the king's servant that ministered unto him, There is nothing done for him. Somebody said nothing. Somebody said nothing. Somebody said nothing. There are some of us since January till now. Your own case is nothing. From January to now, your own story is nothing. This service, there is something for you. I, I, I said there is something for you. I said there is something for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Verse 4, And the king said, Who is in the courts? Now Haman was come into the outward courts of the king's house to speak unto the king to hang Mordecai on the gallows that he had prepared for him. Verse 5. And the king's servant said unto him, Behold, Haman standeth in the courts. And the king said, Let him come in. So Haman came in and the king said unto him, What shall be done unto the man whom the king delighted to honor? Now Haman thought in his heart 
to whom would the king delight to do honor more than to myself? And Haman answered the king, For the man whom the king delighted to honor, let the royal apparel be brought, which the king useth to wear, and the horse that the king rideth upon, and the crown royal which is set upon his head, and let his apparel and let his, and let this apparel and the horse be delivered to the hand of the prince that that they may array the man with whom the king delighted to honor and bring him on horseback through the street of the city and proclaim before him thus shall it be done to the man whom the king delighted to honor verse 10 then the king said to Haman make haste take the apparel and the horse as thou hast said and do even to Mordecai the Jews that seated at the king's gates let nothing fail of all that thou hast spoken I prophesy to people here this morning every word of prophecy that will come from this altar over your life over your destiny over your family none shall fail in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I said none shall fail in the mighty name of Jesus Christ people of God is our months to be remembered the devil put it in the mind of Haman to harm Mordecai. That same night, God put it in the heart of the king to honor Mordecai. Hallelujah. The same night, a gallow was prepared to hang Mordecai. That same night, a horse, a horse was appeared to dignify Mordecai. I prophesy to somebody here this morning, in this month of September, every harm the enemy has programmed for you, it shall meet with honor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will agree with me that when harm meets with honor, honor will swallow harm. When harm meets with honor, honor will swallow harm. The God of heaven shall honor you this month in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You know, something happened recently. A bishop was going to have his lunch. He was on his table to have his lunch. Another bishop called him. Say, hey, bishop, Kebino, Kebino, something is happening. Something. He said, what is that? He said, a woman, a woman, a woman. She's confessing. She said she's a witch. That she was actually sent to kill you. Where are you? Where are you? Ah. The bishop said, ah, I, I'm about to take my lunch. I'm on the table now to take my lunch. You, you mean that somebody is confessing that uh, he's a witch? That he was sent to destroy me? <laughs> I, I'm not aware of that. I want to prophesy to somebody here. Your enemy can be busy programming and projecting planning how to harm you heaven 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 shall be planning how to honor you in the mighty name of jesus christ you know the september is the womb that opens the umba months and the umba month is a very dreaded month is the month with the highest accident rates, bloodshed, deaths, all kinds of disasters are happening. And he has projected that, you know, evil into the air. That anytime we enter into September, people begin to agitate. People begin to you know, have problems, fears. But I prophesy, every evil program for us in this month of September to December, it is cancelled in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
The Bible said that same night the king could not sleep. Who dares wakes King Ahasuerus? If you study the Bible very well, you will know that he is one of those kings that people don't see. Even his wives. You can't come and see the king. So who dares keep this king awake? Hallelujah. Remember the Bible said even for Esther to see him, she had to go through three days dry fasting so that she would not be killed. He was a horrible king. He was a demigod. He could not sleep that night. Hallelujah. People of God, there is always a king in heaven that can make your king a hazardous to lose sleep over your situation. Hallelujah. And then the king commanded, said, bring me the book of records. You begin to ask yourself, why the book of records? Why not say, get me the dancers. Let them entertain me. Or let's begin to whine and die. Why the book of records? Somebody shout providence. I didn't hear you shout providence. I didn't hear you shout providence. Do you know the reason? Because somebody has been at the gates for a long time. Somebody has been at the gates for a long time. Haman has actually been a gatekeeper, a gate man for a long time. Liba Katia, Liba Bahasaya. I come to prophesy to all of us who are here. You have been in a particular place for a long time. This September, you are moving forward in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I say you are relocating in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are relocating in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. When they brought the book of records, people of God, they opened, he, he, he actually told the servants, you know, the king's servant to read. And my commentary told me that when they opened to the book where Mordecai was written, they closed it because all of them were, you know, angry or they, they hated Mordecai. Amman has already poisoned their minds. So nobody loved Mordecai. So when they open the chapter of Mordecai, they close the book. My commentary said the book opened again to Mordecai. They closed the book where Mordecai's name was written uh, and they closed it and the book opened again to the place where Mordecai was written because people of God the, the most dangerous man on earth is that man whose time has come hallelujah the most dangerous man on earth is that man whose time has come because if you are actually sitting on a seat, heaven will do what? Will unseat you. Amen. I have a word of prophecy for somebody here. This month. This month is your month in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I say this month is your month in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And they read how Mordecai saved the life of this king. And the king said, has anything been done for this man? They said, nothing. 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 For all the goods this man have done, nobody remembered this man. And all of a sudden, the king said, what will be done? What will be done? And the person to answer him was the same Haman. Haman said, king, the person you are going to honor, you are going to do the following for the person. Let the royal apparel that the king used to wear, the king used to wear, let it be put on him. Let the king, the horse, the king's horse, let it be brought out and let this man begin to ride on top. Let the royal crown be put on his head. Hallelujah. Thinking he was the one the king wants to honor. And the king said, no, you missed it. 
let nothing fail everything you have said now before i open my eyes and before i close it let it be delivered to mordecai somebody shouts mordecai must be honored somebody say mordecai must be honored now put your name say if my hero man must be honored I didn't hear you say it loud enough. Say, in my head, a man must be honored. This is a month to be honored in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I said, this is a month to be remembered in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now, I must declare this one very quickly. Very quickly. Very quickly. For all those who are waiting for the fruit of the womb. And you have labored and you have prayed. This month of September, it is your month of conceiving the name of Jesus Christ. I say it's a month in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Enough is enough of waiting in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Rise up this morning. Wherever you are, can you rise up this morning? Rise up this morning. Open the floodgates in abundance. Band, help me. Band, help me. So fall on me. Open the floodgates in abundance. Palaba hasaya palaba. Lake ataya kasaya. Lift your hands, lift your hands, lift your hands, lift your hands. Kalabahasa katala balaba. Baba. Close your eyes, let it be silence. There are certain things to be done for it to provoke divine remembrance. I'll just give you three of them. Number one is for you to give your life to Jesus, to be born again. If you are here from January till now, the word born again is still a child's play to you. Is this sounds like fanatism to you? Is this sounds like in the Pentecostal name to you? I want you to know that you are not among the people I'm talking to this morning. Number two, for you to be remembered, you must live a holy life. Holiness is important. Number three, 
Give sacrificially. Give sacrificially. And help people around you. Give to the work of God. I just want to drop this tray. I want to lift up your two hands to heaven. And begin to tell God what you desire this month. What you want God this month of September. Just begin to tell him what you want. Tell him what you want. Tell him what you want. Exactly. Be specific. Be specific. Be specific. It's a special month. It's a special month. It's a month of delivery. It's a month that God will open every closed doors. Open your mouth and talk to him. Open your mouth and talk to him. Open your mouth and talk to him. Talk to him. He will answer you. He will answer you. He will definitely answer you. It is our month to be remembered. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. If you are there, you need to give your life to Jesus. Settle it with God right now. Tell him, Lord, I don't want to be left out of this blessing. I surrender my life unto you. If you're a Christian, but you are still toiling with your Christianity, a little here, a little there, up and down Christianity, one leg in, one leg out. On Monday, you're a sinner. On Sunday, you're a saint. I tell you, begin to make it up with God now. Say, Father, this month of September, I will live a holy life. I will live a holy life. I need a miracle from you. I need a special miracle from you. I need a special touch from you. And if you are there, you have not been, you have been in the habit of not giving. Father, today, let the yoke, let the yoke of stinginess be broken from my life. I want to give. I want to give. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. I want to agree with you this morning. Raise your right hand to heaven. Raise it to heaven. Raise it to heaven. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let that amen be louder. Your people have cried unto you for this new month of September, the month to be remembered. Almighty God, in this month of September, open our eyes in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Open the book of records in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let our cases be remembered for good in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let our cases be remembered for good in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let the barren begin to conceive. Let the barren begin to conceive. Let the barren conceive. Let the barren conceive. Let the barren conceive. Let there be new testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ. Those of us that have been seeing nothing from January to now, they, what they have fashioned to you is nothing. A capital no. Negativity. Today, by the word of God, by the unction of heaven, every nothing will change it to something for you in the name of Jesus. Those of us that have been in a place for a long time, like Mordecai was a gates man for a long time, this month of September, receive your promotion letters in the name of Jesus. Let heaven promote you financially in the name of Jesus. Let heaven promote your business in the name of Jesus. Let heaven promote your career in the name of Jesus. Lift your hands, lift your hands, lift your hands, lift your hands. Lift your hands. My father, those that need healing in this service, don't leave them out. Some people have been praying for a particular sickness to go. Father, remember them. Remember them, remember them, remember them, remember them, remember them, remember them. Lord, since the church is a spiritual hospital, since the church is a spiritual hospital, every sickness you came to church with, as you are living here, you are dropping them in the name of Jesus. I say you are dropping them in the name of Jesus. Let the heavens be open for us. Let the heavens be open for us. 
Somebody shout a louder amen. So shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. The choir 